Hey guys, Matt, Kentucky Range Time, back with another episode of the 300 Blackout Gel Block Test Series. And the next bullet up is the uh, the Hornady 180 grain boat tail soft point. Uh, I actually have these in a, in a boat tail and a flat base, uh, both in 180 grain. And uh, this is another older loading from way, way back when that I, I was having a hard time sourcing 30 cal bullets when the 300 Blackout first came out and I first started loading for it. But uh, Again, this is a, it's a, a lead core, heavy copper jacketed bullet. And, uh, you know, it's got the interlock band in it to keep the, the lead from separating from the copper jacket. And, uh, you know, wasn't expecting a lot of expansion out of this, but at 180 grains, this is another one of those uh, deep penetrators uh, in, in 300 blackout velocity. So uh, just wanted to put it in the gel block to kind of confirm that and see what kind of results we got. And let's turn around, take a look at the loading, and then we'll get on out to the range. All right, guys. So uh, this is a supersonic loading, uh, accurate 1680 CCI, uh, small rifle primers, and of course the Hornady uh, 180 grain uh, interlock bullets here. And uh, let's get in here and take a quick look at this. So this has got the cantilever in it, soft lead point. This is uh, some converted brass that I had made uh, for a while back. And uh, just a note about this round, when when I originally loaded this, uh, I was running this in a 16 inch carbine uh, made by Devil Star. And uh, that was also running a carbine lift gas system. So at 180 grains, the only powder I could get to cycle anything heavier than 180 grains with that carbine gas system was accurate 1680. So right after that, uh, pretty much the industry went standard to using the pistol length gas systems, uh, even on 16 inch barrels for three year blackout. Um, and uh, that really changed everything. But like I said, this original loading from back around 2012, 2014, I guess. And uh, so that's, that's what these were in. These are some I've had stored back in an ammo can. So, all right, let's get out to the range and we'll take a look at what these did in the gel block. All right, guys, so we don't have a lot of catches today, but we've got some pretty impressive results from the catches that we do have. Uh, if you haven't, go back and check out some of the other videos in this series. Uh, some of the results are quite surprising, and especially out of 300 Blackout. And some of them are pretty much exactly what we expect. So uh, next up, I've got this 180 grain uh, soft point. This is a a Hornady D boat tail soft point interlock. And uh, I'm not expecting much expansion out of this. Uh, basically just gonna put this into the gel block out here and see if we can get a catch. So I've had to do some major reinforcing on my table. I've actually got a, a sheeting board and a white shelving board uh, on top of the table because I was having issues with the, the energy uh, and the gel block actually expanding out the bottom and just destroying the bottom of the table out here that I've been shooting through. So uh, uh, I've got a sheeting board and a shelving board. And this shelving board on the back end where the steel plates are set up, or catch plates, is fractured all to pieces too. So just uh, quite astounding how much energy these things have. Uh, okay, Hornady, 180 grain interlock, boat tail, soft point, and let's see what we get with this one. This is a supersonic loading. Hornady 180 grain interlock. Eighteen oh three for the velocity. Let's go see if we got a catch. guys wound channel is right here on the entry goes down we've got some we've got some spiral rotation so we do have something going on with it right here the bullet goes sideways you can see how wide this wound track gets the bullet still rotating sideways 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 comes out hits the corner of the plate right here still going sideways and uh
there it is. And it is still very warm. All right, so this thing went through here and uh, hit the plate almost sideways and almost cut the tip off of that, if you, if you can see that. There's very little holding the tip onto that bullet there. So uh, 180 grain pretty much just to pass through. And uh, that's pretty impressive, guys. Let's go back and shoot another one, see what we get. All right, guys, that was a pretty neat almost catch while ago, uh, but we did get a recovery on that bullet. So let's go again. This is the Hornady 180 grain interlock. And see if we can pull another one of these out. Just from the looks of that, I'm going to say we had a through and through penetration and possibly even a catch, uh, maybe something laying around on the ground out there. We did get a velocity on that at 17.69. I'm going to go ahead and put one more of these into the backstop just to get our, uh, our chrono data. that can into next year. All right, guys, so I had a, a technical difficulty there at the range. I, I got off, the sun was so bright that I couldn't tell when I was hitting record and hitting stop and I got out of sync and I was hitting stop when I thought I was recording and I was recording when I thought I was stopped. But anyway, so what I missed uh, at the range was the last bullet that I shot actually did go back and impact the plate and shattered up pretty good. So all these shards came out of the end of the plate up there uh, around at the end of the gel block after it had hit the plate, still played at the end. This was the first round I shot that clipped the edge of the plate on its way out. You can see there that Right there's where it hit the edge of the plate. and But one thing we do notice from this round, though, is that we did get a little bit of deformation in the soft point of this bullet. So you can see that it basically flattened it out up to the point where it hit the copper, but it did not have enough, uh, enough energy or enough velocity to go ahead and, and push that open and, and get that bullet expanding. So, uh, All right, guys, there you go. So... Uh, this 180 grain uh, interlock is traditionally uh, a 30 caliber bullet that you would use in uh, Alt 6 or, or 308 or even 300 Win Mag. Uh, really, the 300 Blackout can't push this thing fast enough to get the, the end to deform and, and get the, the expansion and the mushrooming started on this bullet. So uh, uh, so what happens is this bullet basically acts as a, as a solid chunk. It's, a, it's just a big, heavy penetrator. You know, you're gonna get good penetration. Uh, if you hit bone or you hit something hard uh, on the way through a target, then you know you you will start some uh, mushrooming there, and you will get a little uh, you know a little expansion on this thing. But it's going to take something something hard to get this thing going at the velocities that three hundred blackout turning it at. All right, guys. So there you go. So you know the, these last four videos that I've done uh, are all big heavier bullets, uh, cast lead. Uh, solid copper and, and this big, big heavy jacketed bullet. And uh, for the most part, these things have zipped right on through the gel block and, and, you know, made a pretty hard impact on the back plate. But a few of these have actually generated a pretty good uh, uh, cavitation and, and wound channel. Uh, not typical of, of all the rounds, but at least one in each set. And uh, it's been pretty significant. If you go back and you watch those, you'll, you'll notice uh, usually in the second block, you know, these things are, they've started tumbling. And once the rotation gets high enough, then they'll actually kind of explode and generate uh, a big cavitation there. So uh, uh, that was evident for, for one of the Barnes bullets and also for this 180 grain. And uh, so, you know, it's not always about getting a mushroom expansion on this. Sometimes just the, the end over end rotation will accelerate itself to where these bullets will do some, some, pretty much explode on their own and, and do a lot of damage as well. So anyway, 
Guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll catch you next time.